Okay, we're going to do some shattered letters in this tutorial. Uh, let's open Figma and create a frame. And type in a word. Let's just use shattered. I'm going to scale this larger using the scale tool. And we're going to flatten it by right clicking and choosing flatten, which changes all the letters into shapes. Now we're going to draw a few lines over the top that all kind of converge towards the center. So coming in from the top left, going to the bottom right, and do the same for the other sides. Keep making lines until you have almost like a, a spider web of lines converging towards the center. So now we're going to select all, Command A, or you can drag a rectangle, and we're going to uh, use the subtract selection modifier or a boolean. We want to flatten this again, so we right click and choose flatten, which turns it into a single vector shape. Now the last step is going to require the use of a plugin called split vector. So let's find that plugin in plugins. Browse plugins and community, and we'll search for split vector. And then choose plugins, and here it is. Let's install that. Now let's go back to our artwork. I'll right click plugins, split vectors, and we're going to choose fills. And this will create a separate layer for each one of the shapes that was created by the uh, Boolean. Um, minus front or subtract front uh, operation that we did. At this point, we can simply uh, double click on the individual parts of the word that we want to move. So these can just be slightly adjusted outwards and yield this kind of um, shattered effect to the lettering, which you see in movies like, uh, or shows like Phantom of the Opera, maybe some movies where um, you want to convey a feeling of broken letters or shattered uh, emotions or something. So hope this was a helpful tutorial.